nation of raiders. It's a nation of raiders. We a nation of raiders. Hello and welcome to another episode of Inbounds with the Oakland Raiders. I'm Lorelai Suarez and today we sit down with rookie linebacker Xavier Woodson-Lester. Xavier, thanks for taking the time to sit down with us. No problem, no problem. So welcome to the Silver and Black. Um, You grew up in a small town in Alabama. And uh, I I interviewed Jalen Ware and uh, Seth Roberts just a few weeks ago. Talk to me about growing up in Alabama. Small country town, you know, full of football, you know, football and, and sports, you know, the small country town really full of family and love, you know. So how old were you when you started playing football? I was seven. seven years old. That's pretty young. So was it something that, you know, your your family played? Did your parents play? Who introduced you to the game? Well, my mom introduced me to the game. Well, my father, he played. Um, and so she just wanted me to start being active early, you know, and got me into football. Did you play any other sports growing up? Yes, I played basketball and baseball as well. So when did you know that football was going to be your thing and what you wanted to pursue later on in life? Uh, it was around the, the middle school age, you know, when, when I started really getting the grasp of it and then really, you know, taking control of, you know, what I'm able to do, you know, my, my, my ability. Now, who were your early influencers, coaches, adults? Who helped influence you as a young athlete? Uh, Two guys, um, Courtney Upshaw and Jarrell Jernigan. They both made it to the NFL, both from my city, played in my high school. You know, Jarrell, he went to Troy University. Courtney, he went to uh, Alabama University, University of Alabama. So, you know, growing up watching those guys in high school and just trying to mirror, you know, mirror their steps to get, get to the NFL. Those were my role models. So you grew up not too far from Auburn, which is a football institution, and there's rumors that you almost ended up there. So talk to me how you ended up at Arkansas State. Okay. Um, well, Gus Malzahn at the time was at Arkansas State when I when I took my visit there, and he offered me full scholarship. Um, at the time, I was having I was battling with the ACT, um, and so he was on the brink of going to Auburn. You know, and in the middle of my English class, he called me saying. You know, I'm going to Auburn. I'd like to offer you if you get a 19 on your ACT. Um, in high school, I was a little undisciplined at the time, so I wasn't taking it serious. And didn't get the 19, so I didn't go to Auburn. I ended up going to Arkansas State, where he originally was. So you bring up a great point because our viewers are, are young students, young athletes, and you said you weren't disciplined. So when did the light bulb go off about how hard work in the classroom or working and balancing your life as a student athlete was important? That moment, that moment, um, because I I wanted to go to Auburn. I did. I I was set on going to Auburn, you know, but at the time, I thought it was just going to, I was just going to get the 19, or it was just going to be given to me, or I I wasn't going to have to study, and somehow I was going to make the 19, and that shows that that didn't happen, you know, and it it, it showed me a lot um, that when you set out to do something or when you want to do something, you got to work hard for it, you know, you got to put that time in and be disciplined, you know, on and off the field. Now, how did that help you in college? Did you take that lesson and it, did it affect your behavior? And did you find a way to get disciplined at Arkansas State? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I did. My, through my coaches, Coach Anderson and Coach Carlton and Coach Trooper Taylor, they, they really instilled discipline in all of us. Um, and early on as a freshman, just small things like going to class on time, making meals on time. Um, being in the weight room on time or, you know, making sure you have all your homework done by this date, you know, certain things like that, you know, it, it really, they really instilled that and enforced that upon us, you know, that, that discipline. And how do you bring that discipline to work every day here at the Raiders? You signed just a little over two weeks ago. Uh, you've gotten a shot at that 53-man roster. So talk to me about the work ethic you're going to bring to the Raiders organization. Well, it's every day um, for, for, for Full blast, full speed ahead, work. Um, nothing's taken for granted. You know, you gotta be. I'm blessed to be here. I'm blessed for the opportunity. And you know, seeing guys like Khalil Mack and Reggie Nelson, you know, guys I watched and looked up to. You know, seeing how hard they work. You know, it, it makes you. It brings that 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 extra work ethic up out of you because you you're at that stage now. You're at that level where everybody's great, everybody's good. You know, and, and everybody's talented. Now it's about who's gonna work the hardest. And, you know, being in the NFL in itself, you know, it's, 
it's a big deal. It's a big deal. And the man who don't work, you know, he will not he will not eat. He will not play. So a year from now or at the end of the season, when you look back at this season, what do you hope you've accomplished personally? Personally, I hope I've accomplished um, ultimately winning the Super Bowl with the, the, not personally, but as a team, winning the Super Bowl with the guys. But uh, personally, just making sure I hit my mark, that I've hit my mark and done my job every game, you know, and, and never let my team down, my teammates down. Um, and, and knowing that I've gotten better as the year um, passed and progressed, you know, progressed game to game. Well, Xavier, thank you for taking the time to sit down with us. We look forward to seeing what you do on the field this season. Thank you. Thank you so much. And until next week, this has been Lorelai Suarez with Inbounds with the Oakland Raiders. Thanks for tuning in.